What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy, Dennis Ndiri2, at Ndiri2 Basketball. So the Kenya Morans have made some changes. So Cliff Orr is back. Cliff Orr returns as Kenya Morans head coach. So Cliff Orr was named as the head coach for the Kenya Morans for the second time and revealed his immediate plans to take the team to the FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023. So, yeah, Coach Liz Mills is gone, and uh, they have decided to run it back with the Kenyan coach. But apparently, the Australian coach uh, did nothing for this team other than win two games and lose five games <laughs> since he took the to control the team in the first in the second in the second leg of the FIBA Afro Basket qualifiers in the actual Afro Basket where she only won a total of two games. <laughs> well, KBF wasn't having it, and, uh, yeah, you know, they never pulled any punches. They just had to fire her because she didn't know what she was doing. So the Kenya Basketball Federation Secretary, Ambrose Kisoi, while announcing Owo's return to the helm of the men's team in a release, also named a provisional squad of 20 players to start preparation. So Cliff, Cliff or or Cliff Ward was quoted as saying, I'm coming back to finish the job. If I get the caliber of players that I need for the task ahead, there's no reason why Morans cannot make it to the World Cup. <laughs> well, that's debatable. You guys did not look good in the Afro Basket qualifiers at all. And, uh, you know, to give credit to them, they made the Afro Khan finals in 2019. But, you know, uh, the Afro Basket, they didn't show up pretty well. Actually, under Cliff Ward's watch, they well looked badly against Senegal and Angola before beating Mozambique. This was in late tw November 2020. Remember I discussed this earlier in previous videos when looking at the Afro basket. So, I mean, even if he says he wants to do this, I feel like this is such an ambitious goal. And uh, given the current state of the roster, it's the same roster. They've done nothing. They made no changes in a six-month span before the Afro basket. I don't think that even they are ready for even these... FIBA, FIBA, FIBA World Cup <laughs> qualifiers, they are not ready. So, um, honestly, even if they bring him back, I just expect the same old uh, performance. Uh, they just pound the rock multiple times. And uh, they have nothing to show for it. So, the immediate assignment for War, who handles a PR of Rwanda, where he is also in his in his second stint, is in, group, is in the group D of the if the FIBA World Cup qualifiers that tips off next month in Dakar, Senegal, say the foot, this 47 year old tactician was given the nod to replace Australian coach Liz Mills, who handled the, who hand, uh, handled the team in the ninth position in the FIBA Afro Basket Championship in Kigali, Rwanda last August and September. So, yeah, they just had to fire coach Liz Mills because they saw no progress, they saw limited results given the fact that they are trying to push this women empowerment thing, saying to say that uh, Coach Liz Mills could do it. But one thing that, you know, hiring Coach Liz Mills has shown that, you know, women can equally be as incompetent as the men, so they have to bring a, bring in a guy like Cliff Wall who was there, and uh, they fired him unceremoniously. They actually dealt him a bad hand, and when they saw, they gave this uh, Australian coach... Um, the free reigns to you know coach the team she did absolutely nothing to improve them so i feel like kbf are regretting their decision and that is why they had to let, cut this australian to <laughs> loose and go back to where she came from because she actually did nothing a beaming award said for from his base in kigali that he's on a mission to complete the unfinished business and take Kenya to the top of the log of the continent. I don't think that's... I don't think you're going to do that, bro. You slow your roll, Bana. <laughs> you have to slow your roll. I'm coming back to finish the job. Forget the caliber of players I need. The task ahead, there's no way... There's no reason why the Morans can't make it to the club, <laughs> to the World Cup. Yeah, I mean, that's just a pipe dream. Depending on how these guys are playing, I'm not sure. Award has worked with the same players before and he knows them very well. Most players have gained more experience over the years and are mature and much sharper since the last assignment with, you know, they did was in 2020. He's convinced they can only get better. I don't know. I mean, 2020, it wasn't different. 2021 is actually way worse 
than the way they performed. So he said that he will hit the ground running and the sky is the limit. The tactician made his debut with the team in 2019 and his first assignment with the side won the FIBA Africa Zone 5 crown in Kampala, Uganda. I mean, that was expected. They're going to win. He iced, by beat, he iced it by beating Egypt for the first time in history. So I don't think they're going to beat Egypt again uh, because um, Egypt is on that level, man. They're on that level with Tunisia. They're on that level with Nigeria, uh, Cote d'Ivoire. I don't think that the Kenyan brands can pull off what they did that other time. His next tournament took him to Bamako, Mali, venue of the inaugural FIBA African Championship. And again, his stars rose as he led to uh, he led Kenya to their first podium finish, bagging silver but losing to DR Congo in the finals. So I mean, so the rust is just the same old guys. I mean, um, there's nothing much. They still have the same flaws. They still have uh, the same problems in the team. So it's just it's just a uh, losing. It's just losing or. <laughs> Back to their losing ways. So, what led the Kenya team to the first round of the FIBA 2021 Afro Basket and Kigali Ronda? Morans lost 92-54 to Senegal. This is the infamous 2.4th <laughs> quarter, which uh, under Cliff Walls watch Lee let happen. Then went down 83-66 to Angola, but dismissed Mozambique. You know, they lost back to back before winning <laughs> their first game. So, he thinks that he can do this, <laughs> but I don't think he can. But before he could achieve that goal, he unceremoniously parted ways with the Federation and headed back to Rwanda. This man was disrespected by KBF. Then he's brought back by KBF, who put a woman in front of instead of him. Then uh, the KBF are just asking him to come back after disrespecting him. But anyway, the job is a, it's a business at the end of the day, so he just has to you know do it. KBF immediately hired Coach Liz Mills, who handled the team in the second round, and the result in Yaoundé Cameroon remained historic. Yeah, it was historic, but you blew eight points in two, in three minutes, and you had an eight-point lead, but you blew it in three minutes before hitting that game-winning shot. And mind you, in that eight minutes, you only made two baskets before the before the final buzzer beater. So it's not it's not that impressive. Yeah, it's not that impressive. Now back in the fall for the second time with the Morans, his focus remains Senegal. So I don't feel like Kenya has the ability to even beat Senegal because I made a video earlier addressing the way Senegal owns Kenya in both basketball and football and that thing is not going to change, especially when Kenya is going to play in their home court. They are not going to lose there. The venue for the three days slated event for FIBA for basket is in the Dakar Arena iconic Dakar Arena. So Kenya will open their Group D and counter against Congo DR on February 25th, tackle Egypt, who named Canadian, who named Canadian tactician Roy Rana as their head coach a few days ago. I don't feel like uh, Kenya has the pedigree to beat an Egyptian team. I don't think they can, and I don't think they will even in the future. Their final fixture, fixture on 27th February will be against the hosts and favorite Senegal, Senegal, who are going to pummel Kenya Morans. They're going to beat them, and this they, they, it's inevitable. A team that has already beaten Kenya twice in their two last meetings for all redemption time is now, I don't think he's going to redeem himself. He's going to lose, and uh, he's just going to have to take this L, because uh, Senegal is no way he's going to lose to Kenya. The first window of the World Cup African qualifiers, 3 of November, in Anguilla, Angola, the top three teams of Group A, B, C, and D will make it to the second round. The FIBA Basketball World Cup will be hosted by it will be co-hosted by Indonesia, Japan, and Philippines. So I'm saying this: um, Kenya Morans, uh, they knew that they made a decision, especially KBF made a this the horrendous decision of hiring an Australian coach who. Only managed to, out of seven games, <laughs> only won two and lost five. So uh, they made a mistake there. And uh, there was nothing historic about even getting into the Afro basket because the only game that Kenya managed to win was only one game. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. They only beat a team that already lost twice like them, which was Mali. They, they lost to Cote d'Ivoire. They lost to Nigeria. 
they lost to South Sudan, a team that they beat in their pre-qualifiers. So um, the Kenya Morans, I don't feel like they have a good future. They just have to rehaul the team. The way they have removed the coach, they have to, you know, remove all the players and get new players from Kenya. Because out of 50 million Kenyans, there are better basketball players in the... <laughs> there are better basketball players, especially in CL. There are better basketball players in um, the NBA and every basketball association. Not these Premier League players who are just shipped from overseas where they are failed and they are brought here to embarrass us. And they are not a representation of Kenyan basketball because they are better players at their position. So, yes, I mean, um, Coach Liz Mills, she had to go because she proved that she couldn't but she couldn't even do anything with his elite team. So, yeah, she was all, you know, smoke and mirrors. And uh, it, <laughs> and, uh, it looked pretty bad for Kenya, especially KBF when um, the Ugandan coach is also white. And uh, they are able, the U Uganda was able to beat Nigeria. And uh, Kenya failed to beat Nigeria, knowing for a fact that Kenya had their first shot at Nigeria in the in their Afro basket and they we choked it. And uh, Uganda didn't waste time. They eliminated Nigeria. So this reflected, reflected poorly on, you know, this lady. And um, it goes to show you and it goes to prove that women can be equally as incompetent as men. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, um, it hurts me to say that, but it's the damn truth. So, yeah, tell me what you think in the comments section. Uh, this is uh, something that... Um, <laughs> It's too hilarious. I've made too many videos about addressing this Kenya Moran. So, yeah, that being said, I'm out. Peace.